before I get into the program, I just wanted to give a quick introduction of uh, Qualcomm. Uh, Qualcomm has been uh, in the forefront of innovation in wireless technologies for the last three decades, uh, mainly into a lot of these new generation of wireless technologies, which uh, we kind of experience and feel that on a day-to-day uh, uh, work, I mean, on our day-to-day, -day, uh, everything we do on our day-to-day -day stuff. So from where we started, like maybe the first and second generation of wireless technology where it was just, I mean, could be afforded by a light. Today, it's like touching almost uh, every stratum of the uh, the people, all stratums of the people, and uh, kind of touching every aspect of our lives. So in this whole process, I think it's not just uh, innovation obviously innovation is a uh, key focus but we are also being uh, kind of involved and work with our partners and our vendors or our whole ecosystem how to kind of uh, get into business and do business uh, both reliably uh, and also and also sustainably um, kind of uh, I mean in this whole business so I think uh, sustainability is not just a buzzword for us it's part of a, uh, it's a, it's a key uh, aspect it's part of our strategy uh, it's part also when we define roadmaps when we do define products when we kind of uh, work with different vendors uh, different um, uh, partners sustainability is one of the key aspect which is behind our uh, mind when we do that so why I'm talking about sustainability is uh, because we do have some key areas in sustainability which which is what which is driving what we are doing today uh, some of the key focus areas in sustainability is the STEM education um, and also the inclus inclusion and uh, diversity. These are a couple of areas out of the top six uh, sustainable factors which we monitor. So I think that is one of uh, the key factors we looked at it saying, yeah, enabling and working with the ne next generations and the younger generations to improve and uh, encourage the STEM, but also look at the girls more uh, closely to see how do we kind of inspire them to start looking at STEM because I think there is a lot of apprehensions in the society apprehensions in the minds of the children that these are difficult things to get into or maybe not for a girl child or maybe it's only for a boy kind of I mean those kind of things we want to kind of dispel or remove from the, these apprehensions so I think that's kind of uh, the background uh, and that is the reason that's kind of what helped us create this program which we will be talking more today.